Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we've got, if you like, shoot at the 4K budget drones. So we've got the FEMI x SE against the Hudson Zeno. Retail price, they're integrated, the only difference is this is still 369 and this is 399. But you can obviously get this, get this one discounted, where you can't really get this discounted at the minute. So what I'm going to do is a comparison of both. Um, at the end of this video you're going to see the flight footage, which is probably the most important you want to look at. I've flown both the same way, I've hovered them for the same length of time, I've flown them at the same height, roughly about 10 to 12 feet, to see how they drop and what they perform like in the air, and what the characteristics are flying are like, and then I've got the video footage, and then I've got a return to home to see how close they get to the map. Return to home was both sitting roughly the same place. So, what do I think? So let's go and start off with the controllers. So we've got the X8 controller. Here there's no comparison. This absolutely hammers it. This is the biggest weakness of the Xeno. This controller is pathetic, for want of a better word. These are toy grade gimbals. A bit like you're gonna find in your PlayStation or your Xbox. There's no kind of proper resistance. It's just a very weak spring inside there. And because of that, the resolution in the picture of these sticks is not great. No amount of messing with the app can make this that much better. You can adjust the speed of the app, but you need to adjust the sensitivity of the stick massively. And the only way to do that is to make the center of the stick so it doesn't hardly do anything. But then, of course, you don't end up with full stick and you end up with just the same problem at the other end. This controller is not good enough. The controller on the XE on the other hand feels absolutely superb. It really does. These sticks feel nice. The springs feel right in them. The resolution of the sticks feel fantastic. It does exactly what it says in the tin and it moves the way you want it to do. So from this point of view, the controllers, there is no contest. The forward holder, in my opinion, is a better design than the cheap tacky. This is just cheap. I don't like it at all. This is what I'd expect to find. I obviously reviewed a lot of toy drones if you've been watching my channel. This is the type of thing I'd expect to see on an Eashini 58 or something like that. That's as much as, as I can describe this on. The only reason this has got a bit of weight, it's got rechargeable batteries in it. So from the controller point of view, I don't think there's much contest. I'm not going to open the app, but from an app point of view, this one has to win again. The app on this is, if you watch a previous video, they've done, I've done an overview on the app on this. And everybody's doing it. I think I did no view of the app on the Xeno. The Xeno app's improved over the time, but it still feels quite toy grade compared to the one for this. This one feels more DJI-esque. People might not like that because I've mentioned DJI, but they make, the, in my opinion, the best app. So the app on this is really, really nice. I love the fact that I can get a proper battery monitor because it's got a proper smart battery. So onto the drones, and this is where, to me, is quite a bit of difference. The build quality on this one is quite super. Um, is quite a lot superior to this. Having said that, don't get me wrong, I'm not having a go at this. I actually love this thing. And it's a lot cheaper. This is, you can get it for 230, I think, at the minute, 230 pound, whereas this is gonna probably set you back 400. But for the 400 pound, the difference you're getting is, and people walk like this because the batteries cost more, but this here, the smart battery, the advantage of the smart battery is I can tell on the app how many charges this has got, how many milliamp hours it's used, and I can get an accurate reading of what it's got left in it. When you don't have a smart battery, you have no indication from the outside what this is, and none of them features that there is on the app showing me that one. Having said that, these batteries are about 35 quid, and I think these are around 85. Massive difference in price and something you must bear in mind. If I was doing a straight value for money shootout, this would win at 230 quid, because for 230 quid you can go get yourself a 4K 3-axis gimbal drone, which has got which is much improved from when it originally came out. Not the finished article, and you're never going to fix the problem with the remote. But remember the price point. That's what you've got to remember with this drone. It's a price point. Cameras, that is up to you. That is your personal preference. Yeah, I'm going to show you the video at the end. They're both filmed within 10 15 minutes of each other, both in the same place. You tell me, you tell me what you think is better. They're both filmed at 4K, 30 frames a second. The biggest difference is the bit rate on this is much higher than it is on this. But by the time you see the video, they're probably going to look the same because they'll have been evened out through YouTube. But you tell me what you think the clarity is better. Forget the bit rate. What the clarity is like. Flying characteristics. Absolutely no contest. This thing flies so much better than this does. They both fly and they both fly in the air and they both do the same thing. This just does it smoother. You'll see that this still drops in height. Nothing like it is when I got it. And it, You'll see when I take off, it'll drop in height. 
when it's finding its level you have to take it up again it'll be something like this thing just hovered in the same place this thing does not really drop as much height anymore in turns this doesn't anyway so this is a much much improved drone but in my opinion it still doesn't fly as well as this one and again taking to price take into account the price if you're comparing these retail with retail then you wouldn't would you You'd go for this all day long but we both know we're not in a retail world you get discounts and with a discount this is an absolute bargain if this is 369 and this is 399 i wouldn't have even done the video because i'd have just said look buy this it's a much better drone but we're not in that world we're in a world where you can get discounts and this thing's heavily discounted all the time and the one thing i hate about them both the white so I've had to clean both of these two before I came out here because they've got grass stains all over them. So if you do want to buy a Zeno, buy it in black because it does look superb in black. I like the black one much better than the white one. If I didn't, if I hadn't already bought one, I'd definitely be buying the black one. White drones look great in the air, but they just get filthy. So that's really the only thing I can say about this. I think I recommend both of these drones. If you can afford it, I'd go for this one. If this is your budget, go for that one. This blows everything else out of the water at that kind of price point. If you're looking at a drone and it's under 300 quid, it will not be as good as this. It just won't be as good. Unless someone brings someone out, something out in the next two or three days before this video hits you, you won't be able to beat it. You could probably get something second hand that's better than it, but new, out of the box, you won't be able to beat it. In the £400 class, there's this and then your competition is this obviously you're getting into spark territory i have a spark i love sparks if the spark had a 20 30 minute flight time i'd still probably be going for the spark over this because of the way spark flies but it doesn't this has got really nice flight time 4k camera i'd go for this now i think it's a good upgrade from a spark if that's what you wanted to do i think it's a nice thing to upgrade too but the best thing about both of these drones is They've created a new market and one that people should be able to get into. If Hudson could do it and Femi can do it, why can't anybody else? The biggest disappointment on the MJ Xbox 4W, I expected to have a, at least a two axis gimbal. It came with nothing. It came with your standard, box standard, average looking camera at best. The drone seems to fly really nicely. Why didn't they just go the extra and have a bit of competition for these two? give DJI a bit more competition but they didn't someone else is bound to come along in the market and make one I've seen some other things that just really don't compare to these I think the up air two, the video quality and that was horrendous compared to these so I'd stick with these two and if I was picking one and it was purely based on budget it'd be this and if I was purely based on picking one that I like better it'd be this I'm going to leave you the flight footage you're going to see them both over it I'm not putting them side by side, I'm going to show you the videos in entirety so you'll see the whole video will be the Hubson and it will be hovering, some flight footage and it's returned to home and then after that you'll see the ones for this. Just flick backwards and forwards to see what you think is best but like I say, camera wise, that's your decision and your decision only. Thanks ever so much for watching, thanks again for all your support, have a fantastic day.
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up